Hello, everybody from uh, Digital ELD Fraction Camp. I want to go over some terms that we're going to be using regularly uh, as teachers. Um, what I would like you to know, and some of you might be a little curious as to how did we decide that um, English language development and fractions go together? Well, here's how. Um, Fractions are about making meaning, as is all mathematics, although it's not obvious to our students. And making meaning is what language is about, or at least language is one of the ways that we make meaning. So I'm going to go over all of the semiotic devices that we will be using to help our students make meaning. Semiotic is just means anything that helps us to make meaning, so anything that carries meaning. One of the things that carry meaning for us are concrete objects, like these kind of blocks, or these kind of blocks, or really any object that a student or teacher can hold in their hands will help, that can help them make meaning. I want to emphasize, an object does not become a manipulative until it goes into the student's hand. So if you're the one manipulating the object, then that is a, manipulate, a manipulative for you only. And I see sometimes teachers make that mistake. They show the objects to the students, they move them around, maybe they have large manipulatives that they put on the board, and those are not student manipulatives. Until it is in the student's hand, it is not a manipulative. And so your, your goal is to get objects in students' hands. Um, the next thing that is a semiotic device or that carries meaning are pictures or diagrams. We're all very familiar with the kind of pictures that you might see something like this, where each one of these might represent one third and one third and one third. That might be the kind of picture that you see. In fact, a very common way to see this might be to color one of these boxes a certain color and then ask, um, what does that represent in terms of a fraction? I'm gonna go over why that's very important. Um, words, both spoken and written, probably the most common semiotic device in any classroom are words, and we need to uh, both speak and write those words, and um, that's gonna be a heavy part of what we do, especially as uh, ELD teachers, as fraction teachers, and finally, there are um, things like symbols. And of course, symbols are numbers. And for example, one and eight are numbers. But there are also operators like a bar like this and a three like that and a four like that. When we write numbers in this specific way with that operator, it has a specific meaning. And so this operator or this dash, I mean, this line has a meaning. And so those are symbols and operators that we often use. Uh, let's see. Procedures and algorithms. Um, there are ways that we approach making meaning out of mathematical symbols, and those procedures and those algorithms help us make meaning. So I'm going to um, just kind of close this idea out by reminding us that we need, as ELD teachers, as mathematics teachers, what we need to do is to help our students to make meaning using a variety of devices. Concrete objects, which we want in their hands, pictures and or diagrams, words that are both spoken and written, symbols that are numbers and or operators or a combination of those and procedures and algorithms. This will be the heart of everything we do. And I want you to have this in your mind as an instructional uh, leader, uh, both at your site for your teams as well as for your students, because this is the basis of everything that we're going to do. And I want you to think about that. All right, thank you very much.